Hey guys, what is up? It is Paul here from OAT once again, and today I'm bringing you guys a shooting test of my Double Eagle AK-47. Um, I've had this gun since Christmas, and I really cannot wait to see how this gun performs on the shooting test itself. Um, should be pretty awesome. You can pick this gun up at airsoftmegastore.com. Link will be in the description down below. Go check them out, guys. Go check out the gun. Pretty sweet. I'm liking it so far. I've used it in a couple wars, so uh, and it's performing pretty well. So we're going to see how it does on the shooting test. And what we're going to do is we're going to go down on the range. I'm going to take five shots on semi for 75, 100, and 150 feet, along with three three-second bursts uh, on fully automatic. And we're going to see how this gun does. Uh, hopefully well. I can show you guys some good results. So without further ado, let's get right into the shooting test, guys. Alright guys, so first off, we're going to take five shots on semi down at the target at 75 feet. And then we're going to go down there and see how it performs. So let's get right into this. Alright guys, so overall not a bad grouping. Here are the results. You got one shot there and I circled these. Another shot, another shot, and another shot. So you actually got one in the yellow on, there on semi. And usually on semi, um, the gun is less accurate. So let's see how it'll do on fully automatic. Alright guys, now what I'm going to do is do a three second burst down at the target at 75 feet and we'll see how it does. Alright guys, so again, no problem for this gun at 75 feet. Um, I made, I think, about six more markings on the target, as you can see, to the right side a bit more. And then I also got a dent in the duct tape there, as you can see. So no problem for this gun, usually ranging around the pink and orange, but still not a problem. Uh, let's see how it does at 100 feet on semi and auto. Alright guys, so the target is put back at 100 feet now, 25 feet more. And I'm going to take five shots on semi, and we'll see what the damage is. Alright, let's go check it out. Alright guys, so I did only hit the target twice. As you can see, a little mark there in the yellow, and then in the yellow again, right there. But what I did notice was that... It was hitting down below the target on this wood part down here um, more than on the target itself. So there was the the shots were more directed down here more, but I did get to manage um, two shots on the target itself for you guys. So let's see how it performs on fully auto. All right, guys, back up here. Let's see what this thing could do on fully auto down at 100 feet. We'll just wait for that car. I might shoot him. Because it's going to get up to 200 yards. Hashtag wishful thinking. Alright, let's see what it can do. Alright, let's go check it out. Alright guys, just looking back on the target. I did manage to hit the target about four times. Uh, most of the shots ranging down around this area. I'm just going to point out the shots I made. One right here, there's a little bit of a dent, you can kind of see it. And then there's a shot just above that one. And then another one there. Sorry about the camera. but And then another one up here in there. So I did manage to hit it four times. But again, most of the shots range around this area that you can't see because it doesn't make a dent in this wood. But let's push the target back even more to 150 feet and we'll see if we can hit this thing. Alright, let's get back up there. Alright guys, so I don't even know if you can see the target, I mean it's just a little speck on your screen or something, but it is at 150 feet way down there. Um, I don't know if this thing will hit it at all on semi, but we'll see what it can do. two more. Alright, um, 
Let's go see. All right, guys, I kind of knew from up there, but I did not hit this thing at all. The BBs were just kind of dropping before it even got here. Um, but we'll see what it does on fully automatic, and we'll see if we can hit the target. All right, guys, so since it's so far down there, I'm going to give myself a little treat and shoot for five whole seconds. Um, let's see if we can hit it. Let's go check it out. Alright guys, I did actually manage to hit the target twice. Um, in the pink and in the orange there, I just kind of scratched it out. It was a dent and I scratched it out to make it um, so that you guys could actually see it. And then I did hit around it. As you can see, I circled them. They are dents. Three of them right there. Just off the target. So actually not bad on fully auto. Five shots. Three to the right and two actually on it. So that concludes the shooting test. We'll bring it back up there guys. Alright guys, so that concludes the shooting test of the Double Eagle AK-47. Uh, not a bad shooting test here. I'd probably give it a 6.5 to a 7 just because semi was a little iffy um, in there. But accuracy was overall pretty decent. Um, not bad. Uh, power on this gun is awesome, though. I'd give that like a 9, probably. Um, power of this gun is really sweet. Uh, again, you guys can check out this gun at airsoftmarketstore.com. Link will be in the description down below for this gun. And probably one of the corners above is the is the review of this gun. Go check that out also if you're interested in it. Um, so thank you guys again for watching. Go check out the channel like the video if you like the shooting test. Comment down below for what you think I can improve on, what the team can do, all that stuff. Or if you're just a fan and wants to say, hey, I'll reply. Tell you hi. And lastly, guys, I just want to thank you for 1,400 subs. We hit, we hit that this past week. Um, that is just awesome. That's an awesome accomplishment that OET is very proud of. And on behalf of the entire Overkill Airsoft team, I thank all of our subscribers. Um, thank you guys so much. We could not have done this without you. Um, so thank you guys again. Thanks for watching. Just thank you, thank you, thank you. That's all i got to say for you guys. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Paul Kenyu from OET. I'll catch you guys next time.